This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God. Read by Tarana Singh. Today we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 6, Section 6. Clarification on Passion, Action, Free Will and the Script is Written. Hi David, my first set of questions is around the idea of passion. In a popular spirituality book, it says something like, Passion is the love of turning being into action. Is that true? Or is passion really just a drive based on the ego's symbols? After enlightenment, is there still a love of turning being into action? Is there any passion or just total and complete bliss? My second set of questions is around the idea of free will. If the script of my life is already set and I cannot change it, then isn't it also pre-scripted as to when I choose forgiveness and when I do not? Or is only the physical stuff scripted? That is, those things which relate to the five senses. Are all my thoughts scripted? Beloved one, thanks for writing. In enlightenment, there is only being complete and total bliss. True passion is extending love and therefore is without desire. There is no doer or action in pure being. As for the phrase the script is written and the question about free will, I wrote the following. God's will is for perfect happiness. God's will is unified and abstract, being oneness and divine love. Creation is God's will, and creation has no meaning in this world. The cosmos was made to deny God, and spirit and creation. Even the forgiven world or happy dream is but a temporary helpful illusion that offers a bridge back to the divine abstraction called the kingdom of heaven. God's will has no meaning in this world. Therefore, do not attempt to figure out or understand in perceptual terms the meaning of God's will. The closest approximation of eternity that this world offers is the present moment. You might say that the present moment is the gateway to eternity. You cannot prepare for the holy instant without placing it in the future. Therefore, I have simply asked you to desire the holy instant and have told you of the I-need-do-nothing solution. Since you believe in linear time, you believe that the Holy Spirit's plan involves linear time. All your questions arise from the assumption that time is linear instead of simultaneous. The attempt to order thoughts in a linear manner, to make a hierarchy of illusions, to make a series of unanswerable questions, all of these delusions are the ego's defences against the atonement, the present moment, which is before time was or seemed to be. 
The script is written statement from the ACIM workbook is still a linear concept since the script is made of linear time. The emphasis of the statement rests on the past tense of the word written. The world was over long ago. You who seem to sleep and dream a world of linear time with events sequenced one after the other are attempting to relive an ancient instant that is over and gone and in truth never was let's keep everything very very simple you seem to be dreaming a dream that involves duality and multiplicity your questions assume that this duality and multiplicity are real you assume that the i that is asking the questions is real i have told you that illusions are one not many there is only one mind and there is only one dreamer of the dream once this is realized the dream is a happy unified dream of non-judgment or forgiveness This unified dream might be called healed perception or the real world for it is a reflection or symbol and it is the closest perceptual experience to heaven which simply is and does not involve perception at all The miracle simply sees the false as false The miracle is the perspective of the Holy Spirit which is aware that time was or seemed to be simultaneous and is over and never was. The ego offers the distorted perspective that time is linear and is still happening. The choice of purpose is the seeming choice between the holy spirit's perspective and the ego's perspective one choice brings peace love freedom joy and happiness the other choice brings pain guilt fear anger and depression you can tell which choice you have made by how you feel You could say that the thoughts of linear time, past and future, are scripted because the thoughts you think you think and the world you think you see are the same. The atonement, however, is an acceptance of the correction to all mistaken thoughts and misperceptions and is independent of time. being for healing the belief in linear time now is the only time atonement can be accepted the holy spirit's purpose is the only meaningful choice